what's going on guys welcome to another video so today we have another question from benjamin so the question is how do i use the automation web book to push send message to slack so for today's video we'll be talking about more or less something to do with integration so we had this the other day regarding some of the apps such as uh, Google Forms and all that. So today's video will be more on Slack and let's check it out. All right, um, first of all, let's say we want to integrate app sheet into Slack. So this is an example. So I have a Slack account here. You, you can check it out at slack.com. So to do that, if you want to have integration between app sheet and Slack, we will need to create a, an API from Slack. So all you need to do is go to Slack API, which is api.slack.com. And what we want to do here is to create an app. So let's start off by clicking create an app here. And they will ask you an option, some options. So I'll just go for from scratch. And let's give this app a name. I'm just going to name it app sheet for now and pick a workspace to develop your app in. So of course, in my case called Aris Azaha, the name of the workspace. So I'm just going to select it here and create an app. So once you're done, you'll see some uh, options you can find. And what we want to try to use for now is incoming webhooks here. So let's select incoming webhooks. And what we want to do here is to activate the incoming webhooks. Turn it on. And let's add a new webhook to workspace. And of course here they will ask where should this uh, app post? And I'm just going to go with general for now. So general is basically this channel here in Slack. So I'll just go general and allow. So that's success. And let's copy the webhook URL. So copy this. So once that's copied, Go back to app sheet and through automation let's create a new bot and create a new bot here i'm just going to name this as slack and configure the event let's say if there's a new update All right, customer is fine. Okay, I'm just going to go very general for now. And add a step here. Let's create a custom step. Post to Slack. It's just a name. And what we want to do here is to select call a webhook. And from there, customer, uh, make sure the table is correct. And URL is the URL of this webhook. I'm just going to copy this again. Paste the URL here. Make sure it's post. And I'm using a simple syntax. Of course, I can share this in the description down below. So what it's saying here is it will inform in Slack when there's an update from AppSheet for the user that I'm making the update. All right, so I'm just going to save this for now. So whenever I make an update in the app sheet, say for example, um, let's say William. If I were to make this, make an update, back in Slack in general, you will start to see a message from AppSheet such as this one. 
There is an update from App Sheet for William. Let's try this again. Let's say Aris, okay, myself. Let's say I'll just change this to 20. It's fine. Any update is fine. So back in app uh, in Slack, you will see the next update or the next info, which is there is an update from App Sheet for Aris. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know what else you like to see in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.